The video actually starts at about the two and a half minute mark, and I'm kind of giving you a synopsis or a breakdown of the car before that. And yes, I'll sell the Cadillac in the back. Plus I got two convertibles that are just an absolute steal also. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is a steal. I'm telling you, it's a steal. I actually forgot to put the price in here. So now I'm having to drop this in somewhere. It's such a steal, I didn't want to tell you. 1,795 bucks. It's probably gonna, I'll ship it anywhere. It's probably gonna cost you between 800 to 1,200 to go all the way across the United States and maybe a couple extra hundred to go into Canada. But get this car, it's, it's a steal, it's a giveaway. It's on my website for more than it is with shipping. These cars really never took off in value after they dropped. And I've been waiting for years for them to come back and they just haven't made that pop yet. And later on, people are gonna look back and be like, oh my God, I can't believe they were so cheap. It's a Pina Ferrera, Pina Ferrera, I don't know how to say it. I'm not from there. But the guy that made the Testarossa and everything, he made all kinds of cool stuff. It's a cool car. Cadillac put a lot of money into the development. This is not the crappy first year model. This is not the North Star model. This is the in-between where it was kind of a sweet spot. The entire dash is just lit up and working great, which is very rare for these. This car is a steal. I just want it gone. I used to export a lot of cars out of the country and that's kind of turned into rent being pushed through the roof where my storage lots were in California. And so I'm back in Montana where I need to be and not exporting. I'm just gonna do my local business and do other stuff. So here we go pretty much. I'm gonna show you this car. It's a full review, everything about it. I go over everything. The car has a bad transmission. That is one of the reasons it's so cheap. It's absolutely beautiful. It's only 92,000 miles, one owner, beautiful car. But that tranny's bad. On eBay, you can get them for 300 to 700 dollars depends or you can go to amco get it rebuilt for 1500 1800 and have a warranty that might be the best route i don't know all i know is this this car is a steal the car is kind of a project in the sense that it has a bad tranny i can't take it down and get it smogged it got smogged in california for years and years and years i'm selling it as a project parts type as is thing you fix it up do whatever you want with it or what i'd probably do is stick it in the garage and forget i owned it and it runs, it drives all this, it just kind of starts skipping second or something. I don't know. So check out the video, call me up if you're interested, 406-546-8748. That's the deal, here we go. And what I got here for you today is an absolutely beautiful 1989 Cadillac Elante convertible. Great car, great motor in these cars. This year it's the 4.9 or 4.5, which is just the awesome of awesomeness when it comes to the newer Caddy motors. Um, a good caddy motor and this car the styling Pina Ferrera and everybody has some cooler way to say that than me and more authentic and more Italiano or something but I don't have all that down I just know it's the dude that did the Testarossa and this is a awesome car not only that it's a great investment car you're not gonna find many cars of this caliber that are just completely undervalued and just waiting begging to go up in value and have the styling and stuff, it's just kind of cool. Um, it's a great little roadster. Um, you can get hard tops for these cars. This has a soft top. I think they look just amazing with the top down. I'm gonna do all kinds of different video on this here, trying to show you every bit of it and all that. Um, nice car, beautiful car. There'll be about 50, 60, 70, 40, 70, something like that. Pictures on my website, oneownercarguy.com. Make sure and check that out. And make sure and subscribe here on YouTube. I do all kinds of videos every week. Just a beautiful car. I'm going to show you underneath it real quick just to get to it. And this is an exterior review. So I'm going to show you the outside. And it's not a leaky sieve all over underneath or nothing. I might find a gap, damn gasket here or there, but nothing to write home about. A little crack right there. And the same thing goes for right there. And it's all busted apart. It's just actually, you can't even feel it. But it's there. And I want to be completely up front with it fog lights down here or whatever. There's a crack in that part. And on this one, that one is cracked off. So that's the only damage there. A little scuff and a little scuff here and a dingy scuff right there. And that's about it on the front. It's in great shape. You'll find a chip here. This ain't a chip. It's just something on the paint. The paint's in great shape. Pearl white. Um, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Going down the side, it's a straight car. Across the hood, 
Man, it's not all chipped up or nothing. This thing looks to have been garage. There's 92,000 miles on it. It's a one or a two owner. I'm gonna have to check my results. I believe it's a one owner. Um, I have to check my auto fact. Checks the um, eBay ad. Everything will be in there. And yeah, that's a great little mark on the paint right there. Ha, ah, it came right off with my finger. A couple little marks right in there. Nothing to, nothing serious. Grill's in great shape. All the stainless going across the front. Um, dings. There's a ding somewhere. There's just gotta be. I know there's a ding somewhere. I don't see it. I'm not seeing it. There's your logo. All this stuff, even the red in it, all looks just beautiful. <laughs> Let's just say there's a ding somewhere, okay? There's a ding somewhere. Because I don't see it. I'm not seeing it. It's my job to show you anything wrong with this car. You're buying it. It's for sale. And I don't see no dings. That's awesome. But it's not awesome because I don't feel like I'm doing my job. So back in, all the lenses and stuff. Beautiful shape. Everything's just in great shape on this car. I love the taillight emblem that used to be metal switched to the lens on this year. Not all cracked up or anything. These are in great shape. And uh, it's starting to show a little weathering, but it's in great shape. The stainless or pot metal, or whatever the Cadillac Alante script is. All the stuff here is in great shape. Oh, there's a crack right there in that bumper piece. I just want to be completely, that's it, up front about any of it. Yep. Okay, dings. This is pathetic. There's a tiny chip there, no ding. A little chippy scrape there. A couple scrapes here. I'm just going to disclose. Oh, there's a ding right there. And I think, right there. Yay! Right there. Yay! Okay, we'll come back from the other side. That makes me happy. Happy to find the ding. Ding, 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 ding! Pretty much it. Let's just say there's a couple things I don't see, but there's those I just showed you there. God, it's straight. Straight car. Um, wheels, great shape. Original Alante wheels. Rare deal. Um, caps in great shape. Everything's here. Antenna doesn't go up and down on its own free wheel anymore. Wheel wells, great shape. These tires are a cinematory. Brand. The Michelin. And they're just, they've been on here a while, I think. I don't think they're bad. They've just been on here a while. Um, the car just hasn't had a lot of miles to put on it. I don't know how much I trust it for a cross country drive right away. Um, top's in great shape. This car looks to have definitely just been garaged. Um, I'm going to say the car was just, just dusting it from sitting out in the sun. Look, I got dust on my back thing there. Top is in great shape. Just amazing shape, actually. Some lint on it is the worst of shape. This car is just in great. <laughs> How many times am I going to say that? I don't know. The Dana West Marina. So the dude had it parked at a marina or had a boat parked at the marina, I guess, and would visit. I don't know. That's just there. Okay, so beautiful car. Let's go get back to the place and I'm gonna show you a test drive on it even a spoiler just in great shape it's got the windshield wiper things Did they actually beat Mercedes to market with that no I think maybe the early 560s had it interior video coming up oh that's in great shape that's in great shape a few times not meaning to wear that out because then it won't be in great shape <laughs> Okay, not hilarious, but kind of fun. This is a hot day, and my camera is going to be way too hot to do this much. So I've got to buy some ice. What I'm going to do is go to the dollar store to buy my ice, turn the camera off, and then do a test drive on the way back. That should work. That way you'll get a full test drive of the, the whole thing here. 
car is ballsy too, by the way. And it's got a nice sound to it. These caddies in this year have a nice sound. When you hit your blinker, it ding, ding, dings. Kinda cool. If you want to lay on it, buddy, there's some, there's some juice in this thing. So I'm just going right here to the Dollar Tree, um, and then we'll go around the back way and kind of get you a secondary test drive on it. I'll do the main test drive tonight, and I'm gonna go see if they got any ice here. Very nice, very nice. Well, dang it, they don't have dollar bag ice. I guess that's just the gamble you take when you go to the dollar store for ice, I tell you. So I gotta pay two a bag, and I'm that cheap. I tried to save two bucks there. Okay, on the road again, just like Willie. And this is, did I say this is a nice clean Delante? Oh, I think I did. Nice, powerful, quick. It's a different drive than a newer car. You're more in tune with the road. It's definitely a different feel. I'll tell you right now, anytime I absolutely want to, I can just light them up. Vertigo. Right now? I mean, you just put your foot on the gas a little bit and this thing will light them up. So, light up time. Okay, clean car. You know, everything on it, it the AC on the car blows cool. But it don't blow cold, and I don't like the the uncoldness of it. Um, it's also 90 something degrees here in San Diego, and so it's not exactly the coolest time to be running your AC. Um, that definitely takes a taxing toll on it. Other than that, um, go ahead and get you back to the lot. I want to just lay on it. Nice driving, nice smooth driving car. Oh my goodness. Hard to beat, hard to beat. Uh oh. Okay, so this is my lot. Any kind of cars you're looking for, if you're looking for classic cars and such, oneownercarguy.com, all kinds of stuff. Okay, here we go. Oh, they just come around that guy. We're all buying for that spot. Okay, so this is the Elante. Oh, look at all the cars we're passing. So much beautiful stuff. 69 Mercedes. My goodness, Mustangs and 740s. I won't say you name it, I got it. But you name it, I might got it. Okay, Dodge Magnum, Dodge Durango, Ford Taurus Wagon, Elante. 69 Mercedes, LSC Lincoln Coupe. Dodge pickups, Bricklands, and more Mercedes, and Lexuses, and oh, Mustangs, you name it, you name it. This is your Lante. You can call me, 406-546-8748. Check out the nighttime video. It would be different without the shadows and different things. Um, and we'll do another test drive and show you the interior, the trunk, all that, and try it with the top down and all this good stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com. Oneownercarguy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is the exterior video of this absolutely gorgeous 1989 Cadillac Elante convertible. It's in great shape. This is gonna be an exterior review, and I'm gonna kinda of go around it. Excuse me. This is going to be an interior review. I'm gonna kinda of go around it, give you a quick e review of the exterior to where you can see it in this more nighttime-ish type light. I'm gonna get a test drive, and I'm gonna do this one a little bit different than I do a lot of my videos. I'm gonna go back to my storage yard before I actually show you a lot of the interior. Because I simply left my phone at home. And there's a little flashlight on it. And with the way the clouds are going and everything's happening today, being overcast, I don't have enough light to really show you the interior the way I want to. But we're gonna go over everything in detail. Any kind of issues or anything like that, you're gonna see them in this video. If you're interested, give me a call. My name's Nathan. It's 406-546-8748. And these are a great investment car. These things are only going to go up in value, man. They didn't make so many of them. It's a Pina Ferrera. It's a stinking Italian designed car. Just like the Testarossa, baby. That's right. So, with that in mind, I'm going to show you under the hood here. Might as well pop the trunk here. A couple things like that. Got the books. 
all that stuff. And put these, how oh, should I show you? Let's do this right. Pop the trunk, show you the storage and all that stuff. Put this down and I'm gonna store this right back here for now. I'm gonna show you behind the seat and that's where it just looks a little bit better with the light. It's got that. Yeah, this all pops down neat. I'm gonna try and do all that. Let me pop the hood. And I'm gonna show you the interiors here. The guts when we get back. In the trunk though, you can see it's just show quality, man. It's just nice. Uh, original rugs, still got the um, there's titties on the on the tread of the tire. This thing ain't never been on the ground, man. There's your little convertible top cover things. There's a jack and all that's in there. Here's your build sheet. There's any numbers you want off of that. You can pause it and do that. And then let's look under the hood. Auto suck down. All that good stuff works. I'm gonna just show you under the hood and then we'll get down to my lot and we'll get a little bit more in depth about the innards. How do I get in here? So many cars, I end up forgetting how the hood's open. One thing about a Cadillac Elante in this year is the plenum and the runners, baby. Just absolutely beautiful motor. And this one is super, super clean. It's in great shape. So, that's your motor. That's under the hood. 4.5? What is this one? Yeah, 4.5 liter. Hopefully that's clear enough for you to see. And the hood struts have gone bad on this. I can replace them if you want. They're about oh, 15 to 20 bucks on eBay. Um, I'm going to hop in. We'll go back down the lot. And um, actually, yeah, we're going to do that. Once I got in, I changed my mind. Here's this little handle here that you can see. And once you do that, you pop these two. And you hear the little clunk clunks go in the back. This comes up like this. How's this go? Did I get it? I didn't get it. Hang on. Let me pop that one. Boom. That goes up like this. And then you let your top... And this doesn't even look like there's ever been anything down there. Um, I think I gotta bring it back. Hang on. Okay, you actually pull this up until it clicks and locks, and then you just grab this and flip it right back. It's super easy. And this looks to have been, please go back. From there, let me go get that one to where it's not bad. And then this comes down and rolls down and locks. Rather simple. Let me roll the windows down, take some pictures. Be right back. Okay, here we are with the top down. And I know it wasn't the easiest process for me to do that holding the camera, but it's a super easy process for you in person. It'll take you about all of a minute. And no motors to wear out on that kind of thing for pulling the top down. I'm gonna go around it. I mean, you ain't gonna be able to see the tops down from the front, but you can see the different angles. The car's just beautiful. The paint's nice. It's just, it's a beautiful car. And I've shown you the exterior. I just have to do it with the top down. Look at that car, man. And like I say, great investment vehicle. Just what an investment vehicle. I heard the popo there. So it's coming after me. It's like, uh-oh. Okay, guilty conscience? No. Just, you know, you hear the popo siren, you, you look. Okay, there we go. Take this back up to the place. Show you a little bit more on the inside. Actually, my woman is like, you can't tell her to... It's our daughter. She said popo -po yesterday. <laughs> I gotta watch that. Okay, all the pixels and everything on the dash are great, except for the N and the E telling you to change in oil. Now, I could just reset that, but I think it might need to be changed. I don't know. I have no clue because these quickie lubes and stuff, Walmart, never do change those things and uh, reset them so you end up not knowing when your oils changed except in this case this guy 
although it's past the date, 93,000 is when it's supposed to be done. It's at 92,599. Um, it's a great runner, drives great. Um, if you're going down the road and you really get to going and let off the gas, you can get nothing for the tranny. It'll just kind of, it's gone. And then you put your foot on it again and it goes. Um, I think it's gonna need to be replaced. Um, and there's all kinds of them on eBay for $299 to $699 uh, with a 90-day warranty. Um, I got a guy here that'll R and R and it, replace it, remove it, and replace it for um, around five, six hundred bucks. Um, I don't want to put thousand dollars more into it and do that when uh, you won't have the warranty when you get it. I won't be driving it around enough to know if it's a good tranny. And you know, put a thousand in when you can spend fifteen hundred or so and get a, a newly, freshly rebuilt one. That might want to be the way you want to go. I mean, you go to Amco and give them eighteen, nineteen hundred bucks. You have like a five-year warranty, but it feels like it's all there most of the time. And then sometimes if you do that and then let off at about 40 and then put your foot on it again, there'll be nothing there. So I don't want to mislead or anything, but it's nice to cruise around. Uh, I don't know what a guy is going to do on that besides just repair it. Now, if you're looking for any kind of old car, look at all these old cars. They're all over the place. I'm going to get out. Let me get my phone, come back out here and show you some stuff. Okay, here we are back. I have my phone, and once I had my phone, I realized also, you know, I'll bet you I'm gonna get a lot better picture too with the, um, a little bit of sand in it for me. I'll get a lot better picture too with the top down, so I'm not putting it back up yet. Come on, light. There we go, so door panel, great condition, all your buttons and all, all this looks great. A couple little marks right there that you can just go to see um, pedals that's just absolutely nowhere and all this is in good shape let me show you under here it's in great shape and all your buttons on your seat great shape it doesn't really dirty dirty it's just kind of rubbed the wrong way if that makes any sense look at a fold over it's not torn up or ripped up anywhere but there's a little bit of fold over in the seat there, and the same thing for there. Um, but they're in great shape. They look just fantastic. Center console, same thing, a little bit of fold over wear. Back here. It does add a little bit to show you with that light. I just wanna give you the best look that you can get at it. Um, obviously, the windows work. Um, let me show you how easy this is to put up. So I'll put my phone away. And, um, it says right here, soft top cover, soft top hard top, which I guess is a, that's a soft top cover. So there's that. And then this will come right up. And then how that comes back down. Okay. Got my front pieces in, and now I'm gonna try. This piece is locked on this side, so there we go. Push up and let down. It's that simple. So now this piece, I'm remove my camera so down there, and then you'll lock that in. And then this piece simply goes down. There's a little plastic flange. It's got a crack in it right there. I think that might be my issue. So I'm gonna leave that off a little bit. Put this back down. Okay, I reset this and got that closer to the top. I think now, yeah, you just set it down. And it grabs it and does it all by itself. Okay, dash, all that, beautiful condition. All the dash. Floor, carpet down that side. The seat, everything's just in great condition. He's gonna work, even this stuff. How's this one? Um, we got a light bulb out here. Sometimes it's just in the, this thing don't get open enough, but this one won't stay up and you gotta have a light bulb in it, it looks like. Look at that shifter on this. Awesome stuff. Okay, that's your review. That's your walk around. That's your 19, whatever I said at the beginning of this video, Alante, and you need it. Give me a call, Nathan, 406-546. 
888-888-8748. You can call me anytime. Check my website, oneownercarguy.com, and most of all, subscribe here on YouTube. I do all kinds of old, look at V12 or BMW. Got the old Buick out here. Got old Dodge pickups and beautiful sunrise, sunset timing. Yeah, buddy. Just nice stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Okay, that was it. So, hope you enjoyed. Call me up, 406-546-8748. Buy this car. Subscribe. Like, comment. We'll see you tomorrow.